Hello everyone, um, my name is Delifix and this is my Stellaris Guide. Um, in the last episode we have met the Hive Mind. Uh, they're not a fallen empire, of course. Uh, we had a very nice trade deal with our neighbor who is now trusting us every day a tiny bit more. Uh, making that plus 15, this will of course increase even more during this episode. We started colonization, we have constructed our second construction ship. Who is going to be busy over here getting all the stations done, getting us more research, and we will need it. Uh, this construction ship is going to Ridigus, and then to Ibu Corsi, and then to this unknown system, because this is how far I want to be going right now. There is, without a doubt, an empire over here, there is one over here. If we can manage it all the way up here, I think we have a very strong starting position. Now, we can only have three star bases. Now, this is somewhat linked to the amount of territory you have. And I don't have the exact math for it. But it will be... Now, this will increase over time by the amount of territory that you gain. Or by ascension points, or traditions, or research. But that will all happen over time. Let's go here. We have a full fast too, which is great. So we're going to say you, you construction ship, you're still building up here. You can see that we're building a research station. You're going to rig this. And we're going to move you over there because we are lacking a tiny bit of alloys. Uh, borders have been closed with the, uh, the hive mind over there. Now it brings our neighbors. Ooh, we're going to be, let's see, the... What is this? Let's pause it for a second. So, the, um, the, uh, the CNS, Torch Crew, is reporting they found something spectacular. Uh, on the surface lies traces of an uh, explorative expedition of another civilization. Uh, left behind are some well-preserved documents and artifacts. So, we could uh, start a, um, a translation project or we'll get a thousand energy and minerals now we're in the plus here and I would like to do this uh, this event New hopefully system. it will uh, give us some good technology who knows now you we're going to be sending over there then go over there go build over here complete. There, and that should be it. Now what we can use the second construction ship is by filling up the blanks over here. Now as you can see we're, our admin, uh, administrative cap is 30. And we are on 31 at the moment. And this brings in the penalty. If we're going over our empire sprawl of our empire cap. It's going to be something. Now we've met someone over here. And I was afraid of that. Let's take a quick look. What are you? You are... A science ship so there is definitely someone over here so getting to know all of this territory is going to be very important because if we can get this system all of this is going to be us if they get this system we want to make sure we get these two and have two stations over here now of course this is not a choke point so it's not preferred this one is a choke point for this system but I would like to get all the way up to there so you're going over there you're going to be constructing this outpost hopefully it is going to be happening soon enough would really like you to start moving over there uh, entering the hyperlanes where will you go first let's take a quick look so you're heading over I want you to go over here first survey this system And then we'll see. We'll probably won't make it any further into their system. I, I, I'm saying they are right here. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. They are. They're right there. Hopefully not in here. Let's take a quick look. Oh, they're in here. Yeah, look at that. Starbase. They already got this system. So, yeah, we want to move as soon as possible. We might lose this system as well but i don't want to lose this one because it would cut us off it would really squeeze us like our neighbor into a situation we don't want to be in our neighbor right now is most likely 
Let's see, is there a continental? It's hard, but research it anyways. Uh, our neighbor is going to have a pretty tough time. Because it either needs to war us, or its friend, or its neighbor. And seeing it is a hive mind, and it, uh, it's, I don't think it is uh, going to be... Uh, no, he's also rivaled them. And he met a unidentified empire for himself. Now, it's probably over here. Because he is not expanding into this border. Or over here. I don't think so. I'm thinking he's over here. There you go. So with that done, we're immediately going to be sending him over there. And hopefully our alloys will keep up. So we can... Oh boy, here we go. And how will you be? Oh, another swarm. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. And they are a devouring swarm. So basically, they hate everyone. And that includes me as well. They will not like me. And they are at negative 1050. There is nothing you can do to offset this. Nothing. All we can do is hope that we get this system. By the looks of it, we will. And as uh, well as this one. Now we, we can only build one more star base. Uh, but this is going to be uh, a tough one. We might want to do something with our neighbor. Like getting a defensive pack. Because our neighbor is going to be very important. Very important. Especially because there's a hive here and there's a hive there. Now if these two mate uh, hives. They will devour every other species. Except hives. So hives will make hive stronger. And that's terrifying for me. Traditions. Let's see. So we are already over here. So surveying speed mm, is going to be quite interesting. Although we already got uh, anomaly research speed. We might want to finish this up and get our first ascension perk. Administrative cap is going to be quite interesting for us because we're already starting to go over it. So let's get this administrative cap up to 50. That will lose us uh, the penalty for the research deals. Uh, so research is going to be improved still. I wish I would see their fleet somewhere, but we would need a technology called Listening Post. This science ship is... Uh, yeah, this is going to be bad. These guys will definitely attack us. Four planets, 46 pops. We got three, 33 pops. These guys, they, they are breeding like rabbits. And that's not a good thing. That is definitely... These guys absolutely frighten me. But what can you do? Not too much. Once this is done, we're going to move here and build a, uh, a star outpost. And it will give us some time. We're going to be making the base in here. Now, we don't have systems that will provide us. Let's pause it for a second. Go here and build star base. That will provide us with a bonus. Uh, is this one of those systems? No, there's not. There has to be one. Did no one get a pulsar? Really? No pulsars? No, it doesn't appear to be so. Well, once we discover them, um, I don't think I, if I can, no, I can get into that. That is a tiny bit of a shame. So we want to be building up the, um, the star base over here. So we need a tiny bit more alloys uh, because we need a defensive capability. Well, actually, maybe we want to have it over here. This system is going to be in a rough position. Getting it over here, they could very well skip this base. I don't want them to easily skip uh, star bases. So most likely I'll build the star base over here. And the next one is going to be built over here. Anomaly found. Let's research that. Well, easily going. So what is your issue? You have a worker who's not doing anything. But we're now lacking consumer goods. So let's make sure we get some consumer goods going. And next time, 
Well, actually, let's change this. Let's change this. We're going to build the consumer goods over here. And over here, we'll change this one into tradition. And this will turn consumer goods into unity as well as research. But we'll need four of those. That's why we're making it over here. That's going to be uh, offsetting each other quite nicely. And it will get rid of this unemployed population. Will he be enough? Well, I'm, I'm actually, oh, that's great. So these guys will hate us even more right now. They have not rivaled us yet. But they are extremely hostile. Uh, that's not good. I'm thinking we have reached a point until where we are going to be filling up our territory. So for you, you're going to be making mining stations, mining stations and mining stations. Uh, you are going all the way up there. Let's see, where would we go first? There's a desert planet world over there. There is some uh, minerals that we could obtain from this area. Some science over here. Austrian Dharma. Okay. This is getting a, a really good system. We want to increase our alloy production quite a bit. So, these guys, who are you? You are at least not a hive. That's great. You're a militarist. And you're a materialist. So, respect our authority. He might even like us. Well, he's not hating us. But he's just superior, not overwhelming. He is rivaled with that hive. This hive is going to be so dangerous. Uh, we want to make sure that at the moment, once we are able to get this guy, we want to do that. And we want to make sure that we, we, we start cutting off his system. We don't want him to expand. Uh, because if he expands too much and he gets more territory... Uh, let's take a quick look. What kind of planets do you have? Like Savannah. Um, he would get this arid world. Probably not the tomb world. Uh, this is an alpine world. Uh, we'll just have to see how far. But he is definitely scaring me. The borders are closed. We have another uh, archaeological site. So we have plenty of things to do. And we are now a rival of this empire. Did not know. Hmm. Let's end the serade. So being a someone's rival is um, generating influence for us. It's probably going to be in there. I, I, or do I have to make them rival? Usually you'll get um, you'll get influence bonus for that. Now we're losing consumer goods. Uh, it will be offset once this building is done because it will start to generate 12. A new Ooh, new science. So there you go. Min minerals plus 20. Mm. This is not doing so too much for us. So let us... The reason for it is cruisers can have um, carriers. Your stations, your defensive stations can have carriers as well or actually hangars. Uh, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Uh, we want to make sure that we are starting to build defensive locations. So in the likelihood of them attacking. Because if they get all of this. Yeah, we can have two now. Wow. We, we might change our plans to building two bases here. And then full of uh, defenses. They will start... To gain war score once they take some of my systems. And we don't want that. Now out of this research deal. We could go for minerals plus 5. Which is which is very nice. And army damage plus 5 which is okay-ish. But getting 20% more in research is just the best. So let's go for that. With this done to 50. I think we should be able to build a starport. So let's do it. It's, uh, how expensive was it to build one? 200. 200 alloys. I actually want to make another one as soon as possible. Let's see. This would bring us over 200. So let's build a starport over here as well. Now, as long as we don't have FTL inhibitors, it's not going to do as much for us as we hope. Uh, do we want to have something do going over here? So you are heading over in this direction. You are 
into this direction. So this science ship is now going to be researching all of the anomalies that we have um, gathered so far. So if you have a science ship and you've clicked on it, you will see all of the research jobs that are available for you. So let's go here and do research and research. Now, one of these scientists is most likely going to... Well, actually, both of them are going into this territory. Um, while we build up the rest of this um, space. Because we're going to be filling it. And that will bring us well over 50, I think. It's two per system, right? But it looks of it, yes. You'll get plus two every system. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, that's 26. Definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the 60s there. This construction ship is not doing anything. We don't want that. So we're going to be using it immediately to start some bases. Uh, we'll buy some more alloys for that. I'm actually hoping to get one more planet somewhere, but I don't think that's going to be working. Look at these guys. They have uh, two of uh, two planets that would be interesting towards us, even though it is 12 and 10. And that they declared as a rival. What a what a move! Uh, oh well, what can you do? So at this point in time, you're going to be expanding your borders. You're going to be making sure you get your fleet up. As best as you can and by doing this um, you're going to be selling a lot of this stuff which you're not using uh, to buy alloys uh, let's research that we make enough food so let's do this and get more alloys going there you go and I prefer to go make sure that we get a station going as well as reinforcing this fleet Division. Yeah, research that, please. Thank you. We have a plus three. That's great. We got the unity plus two. Population growth speed, which for our, for us is going to be quite important. We only have three planets, so we want to be filling these planets up as soon as possible. And I will definitely be doing the ideological side. We might get something interesting of it. We might. Now these two are being built up, and I'm thinking we we do want to get anchoring, we want to get those um, that extra naval cap, but also I would like to get more defensive capabilities. FTL capability, no. So basically, they can still bypass our system, and that is not a good thing. I don't like them to be over. I don't like hives to be overwhelming. I like to play as hives. And be overwhelming. But I don't want to be a hive and overwhelming. So we have a housing issue. Now we could go into a district. As you can see we got three over here for now. Or we can just try to offset it a tiny bit. By increasing a district. And it will provide us with two housing. Will this solve this problem? No. No, no. It won't. It definitely is not. But um, we will do the district housing. The housing districts, the city districts, later. This will generate us resources. And this will generate us, um, by the looks of it, just a tiny bit of trade value. New sit rep. As well as housing. Construction ships not doing anything. So let's start building. And then we continue to move to the next one. I think you are going to be done by then. We're going to be filling up this area first. Maybe we can do a bit of a trade deal with this artisan troop. Are we already at a point where we can do that? Let's see. Now, this is, um, I believe, a story story event DLC. Um, but the artisan piece will gain us uh, amenities and migration pool. And that it will do for how long? Well, we could... We get access to the Exhibit Art Monument. A decision. So it's a decision on a planet. And it will generate us 15% more amenities. And plus 15 immigration pool. Now we don't have um, 
any immigration deal with others, so it will just actually harm some of my own planets. I don't necessarily want to do that. So we got research speed plus 5 as well. We got automatic exploration or improved improved deflectors. Now, seeing the situation we're in, where we are uh, having our first neighbors, I definitely want to make sure that our ships are going to be as strong as possible. So let's go for the deflectors. Uh, once we hit our naval cap with our uh, strike force, we're going to be increasing it. So you don't want to do that ASAP because it will cost you one energy. You don't need that right now. This construction ship. Actually, this faction can go down as well. Where are you? So you're not doing anything. Let's get this one because there is some research to be uh, obtained. We get some uh, physics. Uh, that's great. Let's continue. So let's uh, make sure that we start building up our main base. So we are already starting to build one over there. Once he's doing that, we're going to be reinforcing if we can. Even And if we can't, we're just going to be selling. We're going to be selling. But you don't want to go too far. Because as you can see, Alloy, the buy-in, is now 6.03. And this will go down, I believe, to 5.20. So, waiting for some time might be the right thing. We're building up 15 anyway. So, every month we'll gain 15. Is it a lot? No. Oh, hell no. No, it's actually quite quite on the low side. Um, but there we go. I think this is as good as time as any to stop. So, in this episode, we, uh, we uh, are meeting more neighbors. We can't deal with him. And we've been declared a rival on him. So, 130, you will not deal your way out of this. You're not. But... This hive will never let him into his territory. So he... We don't care about him. We care a lot about this hive. Because he is definitely going to aim for us. Because we are not strong enough. Yeah, they're still overwhelming. And how about you? Overwhelming? So this guy actually would be the weakest of all the neighbors we have come. Because he is in very superior meaning that we probably only need to increase our strike force and by the looks of it if we're now on 10 of 30 gaining us 544 so if we were 30 on 30 we would most likely have a fleet of 1.5 to 1.6 k that would be enough to take on the main station as you can see this one's only 633 I like to go over it by quite a bit, because I don't want to lose too many ships, especially during war. But we'll get to that later. As for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is uh, something you're enjoying. If not, let me know in the comment section what I could do to change it. If you have questions of the game, uh, make sure you, you ask them, because I'll add them to my text file and I'll get to them as soon as I am able to. As for now, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.